Alex, I got my IELTS scores. Here they are. So I got uh, reading nine. Yes, fantastic. Listening nine. Woohoo. Speaking nine. Woohoo. Writing 6.5? You should go for a remark. What's a remark? So what, what is remarking? Well, you've got your score mm -hmm. report and you've missed something by 0.5 or maybe one band mm -hmm. and you're sure that you can get higher. So you can send your score results back and ask IELTS to remark it. Okay, now should I just, should I send it off for reading and listening? No. No. In reading and listening, the scores are right or wrong. Yeah. There's no gray area, but listening, no, writing and speaking, they're human marked and there is possibly a degree of error. So just writing and speaking, you should send off. Okay. Should I do it? Should I do it? Well, if you know the criteria very well and yep. you are absolutely confident that you met the criteria uh -huh. for seven or eight, whatever it is you're yep. aiming for, yep. and you're pretty close, like half a band, yep. then yeah, I would recommend going for it. All right, so if I feel like I didn't screw it up, then I should probably do it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, exactly. I mean, that's no guarantee, yeah. but okay. yeah, if you are pretty sure that you met all of the criteria in everything, yeah, yeah, it's possible it will go up. Okay. How do I do it? This part's easy. Just go to the website mm -hmm. or get in touch with the place where you took the exam, the actual test centre, yeah. and they'll have a form and you can download the form, print it out, fill it in, yeah. send it off, and you do have to pay though. Oh, okay. How much does it cost? It varies from country to country, but here in Australia, it's $176. 176 macaroonies? Smackaroonies? Macaroonies. Smacko? Smacko. <laughs> That's a lot. Now, what happens if they actually change my score? Do I get my money back? Yes, the good news is if your score goes up, money comes back. But if your score stays the same, that's it, this your money. This is the gamble of a lifetime. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is a risk. So you do need to be sure about it or be confident. Now, is it the same for the computer delivered IELTS and the paper-based IELTS? Yes. Okay, great. Uh, how long does it take to get the inquiry on results back? It generally takes from a few days to a few weeks. If it's more than three weeks, they recommend getting in touch with them. Okay, right, okay. Now, here's the big question, which is, what are my chances? What are your chances that they will increase your result? Usually it's about writing. So my story is this, I've taken the IELTS five times. Three of those times, I actually sent my scores back to be remarked three times they actually increased the score. Twice they increased it by one band score and once they increased it by 0.5. Mm -hmm. What's your experience? Well, the one time I did the real test, mm -hmm. I also sent my results back and I went up half a band. Yours was interesting because you actually got an eight and mm -hmm. then you sent it back and they increased it to 8.5, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So one band, going up by one band is quite a huge yeah. difference. How, we, how did you know that your score was not right? Uh, because when I wrote the test and wrote my essay and wrote my writing task one, I was convinced that I had written it really well. I was convinced that I had answered the question in the essay completely, that I'd used full grammatical range, grammatical accuracy, vocabulary range, da, 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 da. In other words, I know the criteria. So then when I got my results back, I was like, Something ain't right here. So that's why I sent it back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I would suggest that um, sometimes we get emails at E2 Language with people like, should I challenge my score? And I can just tell from reading the email that I can see grammatical errors and stuff in there that maybe you shouldn't. So it's a tricky mm -hmm. one. So what should I do next? So my recommendation to you is if you're really confident and you're confident in your English language skills and you think something isn't right, then sure, send it back. But if you're not, if you're unsure, you may want to get some feedback first. It'll be less expensive, 
less of a gamble and I think will actually provide you with the information you need to then determine whether you send it back or whether you actually go and sit the test again. So how can they get feedback on E2 language? A few different ways. One, you could take the mock test. Yep. Full computer delivered test with feedback, not just with scores. Mm. So we really yes. rake through your writing and speaking and point out every little thing that you can improve. Yeah. The other way is to submit work for feedback um, through packages that we have, like yep. writing intensive package, bronze, silver, yep. gold. Nice. And you can just add on feedback to any package that you have with E2 language as well. Yeah, I think I think the, the trickiest bit about IELTS writing is you may be making this error like grammatical range, or you might be writing slightly off topic, and you yourself are unaware of this. You think you're doing a fabulous job, but in fact, that's the thing that we will identify for you. So what are you going to do? I'm going to send my scores back.